In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make this lady to say morning to everyone. We will work on this little speech bubble. So you have, for example, an animated character and you would like for it to say something. The way we can do this is clicking on the rectangle tool, selecting the rounded rectangle tool and by creating a speech bubble by holding the left alt key. Holding the left alt key will make sure that this is a Bezier path. Now you can open the rectangle, open the path, and as you can see, it's a path, not a normal rectangle. So by having a path, we can easily adjust every point. So I'll go and select my pen tool, and I'll make additional points here, here, and here to make this speech bubble possible. This will allow me to do such a crazy thing. All right, let's say that I have it prepared. For example, if you want the corners to be more rounded, you can always like make it like this. I'll maybe quickly adjust this. It won't take too much time. Not being super precise here, just making it on one edge. It's, I think it's fine. And we would have the speech bubble ready. I can even press enter and call it speech bubble. So let's say it would be placed here. So what would this person say? Probably morning, morning y'all. Okay, so we have some text and on my character panel, I'll make the text much, much smaller. Also, when it comes to the width, I would like to make the width a bit less. All right, what I want to make sure is that this text will always follow the speech bubble. So I will select the parenting option and make it follow the speech bubble. All right, now I want to animate the speech bubble. So animating a speech bubble is very simple. You only will need two properties and a total of four keyframes. At first will be the scale. So you press S, you keyframe it, you put the 100% keyframe somewhere in the front and you place here zero. This will make an animation like that. But you can see it's kind of boring to have it like this. So what you want to adjust, you want to press Shift and R to open the rotation. And you would like to give it like negative 90 degrees or negative like 70 degrees. I will keyframe it. I place it in the beginning. I match it up with this keyframe and here is zero degrees. Now, what's the problem? Now, what problem do you see here? The problem I see here is the anchor point it should rotate from this point around. So you can take the pen behind tool or press Y on your keyboard. You can take the anchor point of this shape and place it here. I can pre-render the animation and as you can see, this speech bubble would really nicely flow into the screen. If you want the animation to be a little bit more smooth, always right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease and you are done. The final animation would be so nice, wouldn't it? Thanks for watching this tutorial.